Hey guys, welcome to another Touch of Film. Um, today is a review on Love and Other Cults. If you can remember, or if you've not, if you've seen, uh, I did a video um, last week actually. It was me going out Blu-ray hunting. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I bought this title along the way. Um, yeah, let's get started on the review. It's from 2017, directed by AJ Yoshida. Um, from 2017, uh, it's based on a true story and tells a tells a story about a group of uh, young adults from like teenagers to their to them being young adults. Um, really, it's based around one girl called I. Um, she's uh, played by uh, Sairi Ito, a wonderful performance in this movie. Um, and I is really a girl who's had a very difficult childhood, she, um, sort of self-abusing, uh, a, a mother with issues in her life, um, and she is raised in a religious cult. So, um, you do see her as she leaves the, the cult, and she becomes friends with, like, um, another group of outcasts really all these characters they're young um, and they're sort of rebellious um, really great performances in this movie um, the characters are just so interesting um, the first group that she's with is like um, just a, a group of complete rebels they're shoplifters they're all raised by a young mother um, she's got her own problems and she she was like a full team when she had uh, her kids, so she they're, they're, these characters are just really just don't care. They they just you know they just all they care about is um, having uh, having sex and doing drugs and stealing and you know petty theft really. And you you see her development from leaving this group and 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 then. And then, and then she's just trying to make the best of her life. She just this girl just really wants to be happy. Um, but also the, char the, the another main character is a, a young boy who's who's just is just besotted by her. He he's so uh, he, he is really told by his viewpoint this whole movie um, from him just trying to help her really uh, get uh, at some points help her and at some points not be really that sort of person to turn to. Um, I, I can't really, he, he sort of, call, he, he's like one of the catalysts in her life that is also probably one of the people causing her problems. But it's really hard to explain. Yeah, but the film is absolutely fantastic. There's, it's set in like a rural town. It's not like in Tokyo or anything. So these these young kids have just really got nothing to do. Uh, it's not like they're in in Japan, in Tokyo or big big cities where there's so much and you know uh, entertainment for young people. So instead, like there's people that are joining like crime. You could like small time yakuza. They think they're big time yakuza, but in fact they're just petty criminals um and i's character is drifts in and out of uh, of crime and and like trying to just be happy and have a normal life which is really difficult um her mother in this you only see her a couple of times her mother you really see is like also another reason why she has her problems her mother's like on her eighth or thirteenth religion that she's trying to follow um, is someone who another person who's probably trying to be happy in her life um, and you know can't really seem to get there um, but yeah a fantastic movie um, the, the, the the storytelling is just brilliant um, the performances are fantastic uh, if I would compare it to any film I I, I, it's hard to say. I would really compare it to something like Boogie Nights in the way that you see these characters progress during this film, and it's really like a yo-yo of of where they are in their lives. And some characters you just like at the beginning you hate them, and then you turn turn to really like them, or some characters you really like and you 
you know, you either like you like them from the beginning and then hate them at the end, or hate them in the beginning, and then it, it, it's just so crazy. It's brilliantly told, and I and I really love this film. If it was, if I saw it last year, it would have definitely made my top ten two of films of 2017. And I'm really happy that uh, uh, Third Window picked pick this up uh, they've just done a really good job with it um, this release is a dual format let me just take this out it's a dual format with the DVD and the blu-ray it's really nice nice little disc art where they are really like that it's, it's wonderful um, yeah uh, great performances um, like I said guys if you are a fan of um, sort of like P.T. Anson movies you'd probably like this as well it's also got that sort of um, it's not got a storyline really to it it's just almost like a telling of this is what's going on with their lives and how it's progressing through the years um, and yeah wonderfully told and the, the the narrator who's really the young boy who's uh, who is keen on I uh, is is told through his eyes and I think he gives a really good performance as well in this um, the the young kids in there that want to be Yakuza they're just oh they're just, they're really entertaining to watch as well I mean some some of them you really like you feel like oh, I really want to punch you in the face but the the, the way they the characters are told that it's just brilliant and the way they've acted is stunning I, I really I can't rate this movie enough I think more movies need to come out from Japan like this um, it's it, it's just so refreshing um, this edition itself comes with alternative endings uh, cast interviews a music video and a trailer so it's, it's got some good um, special features in there um, and yet, oh, and it's region free. So, guys in the US, pick this up. In the UK, pick this up. You know, wherever you are in the world, just check out this movie. It it has only got English subs, but that doesn't matter, guys. It is absolutely fantastic. If you're English speaking or Japan Japanese speaking, check this out. It is so worth getting. I cannot rate this movie enough. I think it's a film that needs to be seen by uh, by people, you know. It, I really miss. I was. I'm so pissed off that I did not get a chance to see this last year. It's definitely up there as one of my films of 2017. Um, definitely would have made the top ten. Um, like I said, um, I will put a link to um, to where you can get it on Amazon. Um, until then, guys. Uh, this week I will be doing a vlog. I'll be doing also hopefully do another movie review by maybe early next week. But by the weekend I'll have a vlog up. I've got another movie review. I'll hopefully get another Blu-ray update next week. I'm, I'm trying to do more videos as much as possible. I'm really enjoying it. I'm getting back into my channel. Um, I've recently got a new camera, if you can see. Um, the quality's improved a little bit. Also, I've got been uh, investing in some more better microphone. So I'm just trying to improve on my channel, just for you guys, and you know, make it a bit more fun and interesting. And I want to switch up the style of my videos a bit more, and you know, bring something a bit more creative as well. Um, as you know, I, people just don't want to see just Blu-rays or just go, you know, just talking about film in front of a camera you just want to see more stuff uh, even though I'm just doing that now but I want to do other stuff as well um, the vlog that I'll be doing um, this week is so cool I can't wait to go out and start filming it um, it's something I've been looking forward to for a couple of weeks now but yeah guys thanks for watching um, please subscribe please click like please comment below let me know if you've seen this movie. Um, tell me what you what your views are. And till next week, guys. Till my next video, guys. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.